Helen Elizabeth Dawes here, and another year is coming to an end. Well, I hope it's been a good year for you. Every year is different. Some will say every year is the same, but it's not. All kinds of things have happened this year that never happened before. Now, we won't get into the politics. That's all crazy. And we want to reflect on the approaching year as a year of possibilities, as a year and a time for beginnings. Because look at 217. 217. If you add that up, 1 and 7 is 8, and 2 is 10, and you bring it down, that's 1. So 217 is a new year, a year of beginnings, a year in which we can turn things around for ourselves. And if you turn things around for yourselves and do what you need to do for yourself, your whole world will be good. And it'll be a happy year. And the best way to start off to have a happy year is to have a happy new year. Now, some people think having a happy new year is going out and hanging out and getting as drunk as you can and picking up some new person or just acting a fool. But not me. Even as a child, my folks would stay home. And we would celebrate New Year's Eve together. We wouldn't make resolutions. We made intentions of what we wanted the new year to be for us to help other people, or improve ourselves, or learn something new. And it was a good way to begin the new year. And I've kept up that habit ever since. I may be by myself, and I may be over the hill to some people's ways of thinking, but every new year, every New Year's Eve represents Time of beginning for me. New opportunities, new things to happen, new people to meet, new things to do, even new places to go. So I'm sending you my heartfelt wishes for a happy new year.